Listen to the wind blow Watch the sun rise Run in the shadows Damn your love, damn your lies And if you don't love me now You'll never love me again I can still hear you saying We'll never break the chain And if you don't love me now You'll never love me again I can still hear you saying You'll never break the chain Never break the chain back with another lesson and an amazing song as always today we're looking at Fleetwood Mac and the chain uh, as it says in the titles this version is in standard tuning the proper version I think is in double drop D tuning uh, so if you're a purist and you want to learn how to play it the proper way this is the wrong video for you but I think as a you know a campfire strum along this version works really well you can also adapt the bass line in near the end of the song which is great fun so we're you know I think this way works really well now if you do want the chords lyrics and the strumming pattern as always I'm going to post it up on my patron page so there'll be a link to that in the comments also a link in the description and the way that that works you just click on the link sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month for however much you guys want to pledge it's all very much appreciated and I can promise you it all generally goes back into the lessons is as I said very much appreciated but it gives you guys access to not only this song pretty much everything I've done over the past three and a half years so there's a lot of content up there there's also some exclusive videos that are on YouTube there's videos from the archive and there's some stuff to coincide with some of the technique lessons that I do as well if you're into the scales and blue stuff so what you're waiting for link in the comments link in the description if you don't want to do that I've got a new feature you can show some appreciation in a different way by clicking on the super thanks link that's just under the video there you can click on that and make a small donation and uh, thanks for your continued support thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so now if you want to keep up to date of all the videos that are put out uh, really easy just hit that little notification bell that's just under the video there and you'll get a notification every time I put a video out and if you want to go over and give me a like on social media please do I'm Wayne Argiton on Facebook Twitter Instagram and now also TikTok as you always say I'm trying to get down with the kids anyway that's enough of me rambling without further ado let's get to it okay so as I said in the intro this version is in standard tuning and uh, if you want to do the little intro the little picky part this is what I generally do it's not sort of bang on with the original but it's pretty close so what I do I take an E minor 7 shape chord so I'm doing an E minor and putting my third finger that would be on the third fret and the B string and we're doing this sort of you know sort of picking the string so what we get is so what I'm doing there, I'm picking the D string, D, D, B, D, B, B, and then the open top E string. So again, really slowly, D, D, B, D, B, B, E, and the second time we do it, we'd start off the same, so this time we go D, D, B, D, B, and we'd move the third finger to the second fret on the top E string. So what we get is... So put those two moves together, we've got the first one, so that's finishing on the top E string, second time round, third finger, second fret on the top E string. And 
Okay, and then the chords to the verse, I mean really it's just a verse and a chorus for this and then you've got the obviously the outro. I'll show you the little bass line and then I'll show you the chords to the outro. But the chords to the verse are going to be an E minor, an A, and then a D, C, E minor. So that goes around again, so E minor, A, D, C, E minor. Okay, now what I do on the C chord is uh, I'll add a G bass in, makes it sound a little bit meatier. So if you've never seen that before, just take a regular C chord, move the third finger to the third fret on the low E string, the little pinky third fret on the A string. You don't have to, you could do a regular C. I just think it adds a little bit more meat in there, so there we go. Uh, and another thing that I do on the E minor, as I'll do a little, make it sound a little bit more bluesy in the little breaks, you'll see me when I sing this through in a minute. I'll do a look with my, if you're doing the E minor with your first and second finger, I'll do a little pull down on the third fret on the low E string, so. Just think it's nice to add in there, gives it that sort of bluesy sound. So if we just sing that verse through, we've got. Listen to the wind blow, watch the sun rise. Run in the shadows, damn your love, damn your lies. Okay, so that's going to be your verse chords, and the chords to the chorus are going to be an A minor. An E minor, a C, and a D sus2. Okay, so if we just sing you that chorus through, we got. And if you don't love me now, you'll never love me again. And I can still hear you saying, you'll never break the chain. And if you don't love me now, you'll never love me again. I can still hear saying you'll never break the chain okay let me play another verse and another chorus okay so after the second chorus that's where the ending comes in with the bass line so the bass line so on the a string i'm going to go naught naught two three two naught and we're going to grab three on the low e string Nought two on the A, and then an open low E string. So again, on the A string we got nought, nought two, three, two, nought three on the low E, nought two on the A, nought two, and then that's on the low E string. So I play that a couple of times. The second time round I sort of just sort of play that open E string a little bit more. So what we get is the first time round, like that E ring out. Okay, and then when we go into the chords to the outro with the singing, it's going to be an A minor, C, G. By the way, it's up to you what G chord you use. You can use the four fingered G, the standard three fingered G. At this point, I use the three fingered G with my second, third, and little pinky. And then we're going to go to an E minor. Okay, so it's A minor, C, G, E minor. So what we got is. outro and that's pretty much you know the meat and potatoes of the song as I say you know works really well this way I think obviously the purist if you want to go and learn the proper way but I just think it's a nice way to adapt that you know that bass line in at the end as well okay so uh, a strumming pattern for this uh, now it sort of varies throughout I'll show you you know what I do in the verse the chorus and then the outro so in the verse basically what I do this also pretty much works in the chorus as well so the chords that go for a full bar, I do a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. That's a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. And the chords that go for half a bar, down, 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 up. 
So what we got is. So you can hear that down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. That also works for the chorus. We got that. Okay, but in the outro, we've been a little bit quicker. What I tend to do there is down, 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 Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug my version of that song. And as I said, it's not in the proper tuning the way that the original's played, but this is in standard tuning. And I think if you're a singer, strummer, you do a few gigs or open mics or, or you do it professionally, you know, this is a good way to play. It's nice to add that little bass line in as well. I play it this way and I think it works really well. So there we go. But if you are a purist and you want to see me do it the proper way, you know, put a request in. Or if you've got a request for any other Fleetwood Mac songs, I have done Don't Stop. Or it doesn't even have to be Fleetwood Mac, it can be anything 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar within a reason. So the easiest way to put a request in is obviously comment below the video in the comments. Or if you want to find me a personal message over on those social media platforms, I suggest it at the start of the video. You're very welcome to. I just always point out that I do get quite a lot of requests and I do have to sort of hemp it them a little bit. But don't let that put you guys off. Please do keep requests coming because that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated. Another thing that's very much appreciated, I'll quickly mention it again. Thanks everyone who's subscribed. You know, your support is immense. I couldn't do it without you. Now, if you haven't done already, a further way you can keep up to date of all the videos that are put out is sitting that little notification bell that's just under the video there. Uh, the patron thing, sorry to keep banging on about it, you want the chords, the lyrics, strumming pattern and the bass riff to this. Well, not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past three and a half years. So there's a link to that in the comments, also a link in the description. I've got the super thanks link, if you'd like to click on that and make a small donation again, very much appreciated. And another way that you guys could help me out, this doesn't cost you guys a penny, but it helps me out immensely, is word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos. Tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays guitar, please point them in my direction. I'd really appreciate that. So until next time, that just leads me to say whatever time of day it is you're watching, maybe morning, day, night, thank you very much, and I'll catch you all for last and very soon. Take care.